Are you bad at picking colors for your presentations? This video is a basic guide on how to choose a color scheme for your slides. Hey everyone, I'm Jennifer Sharkey, presentation and public speaking consultant. Let's get started. When working with colors, many people wonder about how many colors should they use and then how much of each color to actually use. If you don't have brand colors, then I recommend using a color palette website there are hundreds available on the web, and all of them have similar features, but slightly different functionalities. Two I like to use are coolers.co and designs.ai. The links are in the description below. Coolers has millions of pre-built palettes and the ability to do a keyword search. Design AI doesn't have as many palettes and a more limited search feature. However, for me, it doesn't feel as overwhelming and I find the overall aesthetic of the palettes more pleasing for me. When choosing a palette, don't get hung up on the number of colors or the variety of colors. Pick a palette that has one or two colors that align with your overall message. For instance, if you're talking about elephant poaching in Africa, you should avoid colors like neon pink and blue, whereas warm earth tones would be more aligned with your message. When thinking about how much of each color to use, a great rule or guideline is the 60-30-10 rule. Let's break it down. You have three colors and they are broken down into percentages, 60%, 30%, and 10%. Your primary or main color is visible on 60% of the slide, and this is most often the background color. The secondary color is visible on 30% of the slide. This could be the color used for your fonts, shapes, icons, or charts. It should be in high contrast to your primary color. Here is an example of good to bad contrast between the primary and secondary colors. The secondary colors changing from dark to light. As you can see, the lighter the secondary color gets, the harder it is to see against the primary color. Also, while the block of shapes are easier to see, the text is much harder to read. For a slide deck, legibility of text is paramount. And finally, with the 60-30-10 rule, the third color is your accent color and is visible on about 10% of the slide. For the purpose of this video, I will stick with really basic designs. In another video, I'll show you how to use color schemes with images. To help represent the 60-30-10 rule, I will create a basic color palette. This helps to see what the colors look like together. These rectangles equal 1000 pixels and are divided to represent the 60-30-10 percentages. When starting out, I recommend using a neutral color like a light gray for your primary color. From the palette you picked, use one of the colors as your secondary color and then another for the accent color. You will need to copy the hex or RGB codes of those colors so that you can use them in your presentation software. In this example, I use the plum as the secondary color and the dark green as the accent color. Next, do a quick test of the color combinations to see how they work. Make sure to test both shapes and text to check for legibility. Here is an example of the initial color palette I picked. I don't think the plum works very well for the main text, so I will split my primary color, light gray for the background at 30% and the font color at about 30%. For the font, I will use a dark charcoal. Here's what the change looks like. And here's another way to use the accent color. Sometimes it helps to have two accent colors. In this example, I split the accent color between the two greens. This is a potential combination on the slide. As you can see, the 60-30-10 rule isn't a firm rule, but a great guideline to test out different color combinations. Continue watching for more slide design tips and tricks.